Let's have a look at this exam style question. The quartic equation x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 3 minus 3x to the power 2 plus 4x plus 5 equal to 0 has roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Without solving the equation, find equations with integer coefficients that have roots part A, 2 alpha, 2 beta, 2 gamma and 2 delta. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now I'm going to start by writing let x be a root. Okay, so x can equal alpha, beta, gamma, or delta. I'm going to multiply x by 2. So I've got 2x can equal 2 alpha, 2 beta, 2 gamma, or 2 delta. Right, now I'm going to select a new variable. I'm going to say let w equal 2x. I can make x the subject and so if I do this I get x equal w over 2. Now my original quartic equation in terms of x is x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 3 minus 3x to the power 2 plus 4x plus 5 equal to 0. I'm going to replace the x's with w over 2. So I've got w over 2 to the power 4 plus 2 lots of w over 2 to the power 3 minus 3 lots of w over 2 to the power 2 plus 4 lots of w over 2 plus 5 equal to 0. So I can now simplify this and if I do this I get w to the power 4 over 16 plus w to the power 3 over 4 minus 3 over 4 w to the power 2 plus 2w plus 5 equal to 0. Now I can multiply the entire equation by 16. So multiply the entire equation by 16. And this will give me a new polynomial in terms of w with the coefficients in integer form. Okay, that's what we need. Right, so my new polynomial with integer coefficients will be w to the power 4 plus 4w to the power 3 minus 12w to the power 2 plus 32w plus 80 equal to 0. So that there is the solution to part A. We have found the equation with integer coefficients that has roots 2 alpha, 2 beta, 2 gamma and 2 delta. This is the required equation. Moving on to part B. So in part B, we want to find the equation with integer coefficients that have the roots alpha minus 2, beta minus 2, gamma minus 2, and delta minus 2. Okay, again, I can start by saying let x be a root. So x can equal alpha, beta, gamma, or delta. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from the root x. So x minus 2 can equal alpha minus 2 beta minus 2, gamma minus 2, or delta minus 2. Now, let w equal x minus 2. I'm going to make x the subject. So if I do this, I get x is equal to w plus 2. Now I can go back to my original polynomial. In terms of x, I can replace the x's with w plus 2. So I've got w plus 2 in bracket to the power 4 plus 2 lots of w plus 2 to the power 3 minus 3 lots of w plus 2 to the power 2 plus 4 lots of w plus 2 plus 5 equal to 0. So now I need to use some algebra. Okay, I'm going to have to open up the brackets, expand it, simplify it until I get a polynomial in terms of w such that the coefficients are integers. So after simplifying and using some algebra, the final polynomial equation is as follows. w to the power 4 plus 10w to the power 3 plus 33w to the power 2 plus 48w plus 33 equal to 0. And that there completes part B of the exam style question and overall this exam style question. If you found this teaching video on 4.5 linear transformation of roots useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.